It's Wednesday, April the 4th. Uh, lake level's been coming down. It came down probably six inches or so in the last 24 hours. It's right at 918. Uh, they're still letting quite a bit of water out. Uh, they're still dumping beaver, so that's where a lot of the water's coming from. But you know, I imagine they'll probably slow it down when it gets down around 917, 916. But water temperature is actually, I think, it's going the other way. Uh, we were out today and, you know, we didn't find, late in the day we found some 51, 52 degree water in, in the backs of some of the pockets and creeks. But for the most part, it was 48, 49 degrees. And I was kind of surprised that, uh, you know, they bit pretty decent for that massive cold front that we had that came through last night. We had bluebird skies and stuff today, and you know I'm not getting we're not getting a lot of bites, but we're really getting some good quality bites. The uh, yeah, it's a day to day thing, a lot of different things working, but probably the things working the best for me is crankbaits. Whether it's a strike king, three X, uh, wiggle warts, the uh, the boss hog by Profound Outdoors, the Spro rock crawler, you know even little bandits, anything that runs from about six to 10 or 12 feet. And I'm still doing a lot better in the creeks than I am on the main lake. Now, the water's a little bit warmer in the creeks, especially later in the day. There's good stain throughout the lake. Probably about the only clear water is from about 0.5 down to about the mouth of Clevenger Creek, down by uh, Long Creek. That's about the cleanest water on the lake. Everything else has got uh, it's not dirty by any means, it's just got pretty color to it, you know, it's awesome for a crankbait. Now we've been catching some on a spinnerbait, uh, some on a uh, rage blade, which is like a chatterbait, and uh, some on a stickbait. I think the cloudier, overcast days, stickbait and a swimbait, probably the best thing to throw down lake over some deep submerged uh, hardwoods and pole timber in the creeks and sometimes you might have to set the boat in 40 foot of water you were, where you cast into that timber that's 25 to 30 foot deep and the fish are suspended in that timber. Now Alabama rig will work, uh, like a 3.8 uh, swim bait will work and some days even a jerk bait. Now uh, we didn't have much luck doing that today because I think it was so bluebird, but uh, yesterday they bit it good in the overcast. But in, a lot more largemouth showing up too. Previously we've been catching a lot of smallmouth and, and a few largemouth, but last few trips out, uh, been some really good quality largemouth and they look like they're about ready to bust. I mean just about everything that you catch it's pretty much females right now and their stomachs are bloated. These fish are ready to pop. Normally we would have fish on the beds by now. But with the cold fronts coming through and we got more coming through this weekend, you know, it's gonna hold everything back a couple weeks. I think everything's gonna be a couple weeks behind normal. So but these fish are just so ready to get in there and do it. You know, with water temperature needs to get up there, oh about another eight, nine degrees and you know, stay there throughout the night. So problem with a lot of this weather what little bit we gain late in the day we're losing it at night I think it's supposed to get tonight's not too bad but I think Friday and Saturday is supposed to get down into the 20s again so that's going to cool the water temperature down a bunch but you know like I say for the most part uh, I'm just kind of mixing it up a lot you know there's probably a jig bite and a Ned rig bite but where they bite the crankbait the, the best deal that's been working for us just covering a lot of water and sometimes we'll go three four hours without a bite but when we get into an area where we get bit we usually catch a few and and they're the right ones you know uh, I think if a guy wanted to catch numbers you could probably pick up a Ned rig and a little grub or swim bait off some of these main lake bluff ends and maybe catch some more numbers of fish, but I haven't been able to catch, you know, any quality doing that. Uh, and that normally works better, you know, in, when the water's a lot clearer. I think the fish out there on that main lake, I don't think they've made a big move yet. Uh, I think the fish that are moving are more in the creeks. And there's a ton more fish out on the main lake that are gonna start migrating here, you know, any day as the water gets a few more degrees warmer. I think probably a week and a half, two, two weeks, the lake is, is just going to be on fire. You know, everything's going to be ready to, to eat. So hopefully that's the case. And until uh, next week, good luck be fishing.